Hello and welcome back to our channel. And welcome to Betty the Bedford. She is a 1960s converted horse lorry and she's going to be our home for the next few nights. Complete with hot tub. So we're here on bank holiday August weekend. Um, so we're here for three nights. We arrived last night actually and we just relaxed and did we nothing did. we spent a little bit of time in the hot tub last night it was really good yeah <laughs> oh my god it's so nice um but we are gonna head out to the nearby village of east meon and just have a little bit of a stroll and when we get back we'll give you a little tour around betty and all of her facilities <laughs> village and I'm having a little chuckle to myself because we're both wearing brand new walking boots and they look <laughs> so new so clean so clean and shiny and um, we're going to Scotland in a couple of weeks hence brand new walking boots for hiking and we're trying to wear them in before we yeah, get there let's try and break them in a little bit so we have fewer blisters <laughs> um, but so far they're quite comfy very comfy <laughs> yeah I'm all right I'm okay. yeah. Just stood in cow poo. <laughs> oh, my new boots. <laughs> my new outdoor boots. <laughs> what you mean you've got mud Out, on your outdoor, outdoor boots. stuff on my outdoor boots? Had a lovely stroll around East Meon. There are some really pretty houses, Gorgeous. cute little church, and now we're wandering back to the car. I feel like the residents of East Meon are all at home recovering after some wild party they all had last night. now at Betty and uh, I've got to say it's so peaceful around here but now let's give you a little tour of our horse lorry. Oh there's a strange person in the window. <laughs> Come on in let me give you a tour of Betty. So Betty is a converted 1960s horse lorry. Uh, we have stayed in a horse lorry before um, when we stayed in Wales but Betty is absolutely beautiful and she has got everything you need so um, over the cab is a really spacious bed area and there's lots of good head height here as well so when you're asleep in that bed you're not going to wake up and bash your head on the ceiling which is good and the bed is very very comfy. Loads of storage underneath the bed for all of your bits and pieces so you don't need to worry about where you're going to put everything. Betty only sleeps two I think I'm pretty sure. Um, then we've got a fully functioning kitchen here so there's toaster, kettle, beautiful big Belfast sink, a um, couple of hobs and a little oven which we cooked some garlic bread in last night so that did us really well. All of your usual essentials and we were very pleased to see when we arrived they've also got an espresso machine which made our day so that's really good and a supply of well actually a, a few Nespresso pods left. You may have already drank some of those. And then over on this side this table folds down and there's a couple of chairs as well. Um, we put Dozer's bed here because it's absolutely huge and that was the best place for it but that's a really nice little dining area um, and space to sit and then come on through into the lounge area. There's this gorgeous wood burning stove which we don't need to use at the moment because the weather is absolutely glorious and really hot so we don't need it but I should imagine in the winter time or spring autumn a couple of logs on this wood burning stove will keep it lovely and toasty in here and then in the lounge area tv with dvd player sofa 
some lamps um, on some end tables and then come out into the decked area and have a look at the view that Betty has. Outside Betty has this beautiful decked area. It's absolutely huge, um, complete with dogs snoozing over there, we'll show you in a minute. Um, but you've got a lovely little seating area, a chimney, a hot tub, which we will show you in full action later on. But just check out this view. It's absolutely beautiful, so peaceful. You can hear the wind in the trees. This morning we woke up to lots of little runner ducks in the field over here um, and um, there were some pheasant and things like that um, just sort of hanging around so it, this is really just absolutely wonderful, a perfectly secluded spot um, to enjoy a few nights away. There is also a fire pit for those campfire type evenings. Just across the deck from Betty is the bathroom in this shed and I've got to say it's probably one of the poshest glamping bathrooms we've ever stayed in. It's even got underfloor heating so come on in and it comes with bathrobes. It is absolutely lovely in here, toasty warm, everything that you could need including one of the poshest shower over baths I think we've ever had staying in an Airbnb. additional £10 you can bring your dog to stay with you at Betty. We've brought Dozer with us who is currently snoozing in a nice shady spot on the deck. He absolutely loves just lying down, hanging out. I think pretty much every time we show him on the on the vlog he's probably passed out in this position having a sleep. Room tour over, hopefully Mac is in here making us for lunch. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> got me mid crisp. <laughs> Just a little bit of lunch because we are going out later for pizza, but um, yeah, just wanted a little snack. I got us a glass of water each. Mac has obviously decided that beer is a better accompaniment. Definitely, yep. A nice bottle of um, Adnams Ghost Ship actually. And uh, if you want to see a tour of the Adnams Brewery, hit up our Southwold vlog. jinx good weather come and spend a bit of time with me because as soon as i put on sunscreen the sun will go away five minutes ago it was absolutely glorious sunshine and i thought i was getting burnt so i put sunscreen on but now look at these clouds what the hell i don't know about you but i love a good information booklet in places where we're staying and at the moment mac is studying it thoroughly I am studying the directions to Boise, the double-decker bus, which is being renovated into a deli and cafe, and that's where they're going to be serving pizza later on. So uh, it says that we turn right out of Betty, up the hill, past the Sundowner bench, which, um, if it's a nice night, we'll show you. And then we go right and then right. Um, so they're serving pizza tonight from four till eight and local beers and ciders. So we will definitely partake of that. Um, and now I know how to get there, thanks to this book. We were just debating what to do next. I suggested hot tub, Max suggested cup of tea. What we have actually landed on is doing a little bit of research for our Scotland trip, which is coming up in a couple of weeks time. So Max set himself up with the laptop. I have, yeah. We, um, we just have one bit of accommodation left to book in Edinburgh. At the very end of our trip, we're staying for three nights in Edinburgh. And um, I was just looking at our Airbnb wish list and um, three of the four places I've put in there are now unavailable. So we really need to get a shimmy on and book these, um, book where to stay, don't we? Yes, we do. Otherwise we're gonna be out of luck. Okay.
cup of tea. Thank you. Lovely. Accommodation booked. That's all of our stays now booked for Edinburgh. Hot tub time. Oh, it's so nice though. So nice. Mm. In our last vlog, we were saying we could count the times we've been on a hot tub on one hand. Exactly. And well, now... It's still only one hand. Two stays in a row have had hot tubs. <laughs> <laughs> Still, two fingers on one hand now. <laughs> We're almost getting to filling up one hand. But the other place, the bubbles didn't work. No. And here... <laughs> the bubbles work. <laughs> they really work. <laughs> I think that's enough hot tub action for one day. Let's go and get pizza. Pizza! just on our way to go and get pizza apparently it's about a 10 minute walk um, from Betty to Boise Boise the bus Boise the bus and it is down these absolutely gorgeous country lanes so we're having a nice evening stroll on the way as well Just out of the oven. And they were really quick as well. They were fast. He said, "Sorry for the wait." It's no wait at all, is it? Are you sure they're ours? Yeah, definitely ours. Okay. The grand reveal. <laughs> oh wow! Oh, check it out. <laughs> oh, looks good, eh? Yeah. We have both got aubergine, pesto, and parmesan pizzas. And they are very good. <laughs> he thinks he's going to get pizza. He's wrong. Okay, pizza review from Boise the Bus. That was really, really good pizza. Oh. Really messy. Yeah, it was messy, eat, yeah. But tasty, very tasty though, wasn't it? And actually, good. just that whole thing, the atmosphere. Oh, um, so nice. People, kids yeah. everywhere, dogs oh, everywhere. It was, oh, it was lovely. Really good. Actually, they, they have that, I think, just on a Saturday night, um, but that was bang on. It's like just an outdoor bar come yeah. restaurant. It was um, just like sitting nice outdoor, atmosphere. At, outdoors at a pub. Yeah. Had definitely. a couple of quite strong ciders. So. Yeah. A couple of 6% ciders. <laughs> Might have to carry her up the hill. <laughs> But yeah, that was a, a really pleasant surprise, wasn't it? We had actually, we, when we booked our place, we had no idea that they did this. And um, he mentioned it to us like the day before we came. So I'm like, yeah, we'll bang on that. Yeah, definitely. 
so really glad we did. They've got a couple of camping fields. So they've got a family camping field and an adults only camping field. They've got a couple of yurts and some luxury glamping cabins as well, I think. Yeah, here, so. they have, yeah, yeah. yeah. So there's and something for everyone. There is, yeah, it's really good actually. We'll link this place below. Um, it's called Cedar Valley, I think. Um, so you can check it out and if you're in the area, definitely worth a, worth a go. Mm -hmm. um, but we're gonna head back now to Betty. Um, Dozer is furiously <laughs> nudging my leg for a treat, so <laughs> we better give him one. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. We've had a bit of a lazy start to the day yes. after a nice evening at the uh, pizza bus. Slept like a log again, did you? It was really nice. That bed is so comfy. Oh, it really is. Really it's nice. One of those nice memory foam mattresses, so it's nice and firm and it's got a nice little topper on it. So, wow, so yeah, good night's sleep. A uh, little lazy breakfast, um, and now we're just out for a stroll in some nearby woods with the dog who is somewhere. He's over there. Who knows, he's really slow. <laughs> um, and then I think we might check out the other nearby town, which is West Mion. So we were in East Mion yesterday, mm -hmm. West Mion today. Um, and it sounds like there are some nice little shops there. Yep, we were, last night there was a fire pit and we were thinking it would be really nice to get something to make over the open fire tonight for dinner. Yeah, we've got some veggie sausages with us and some peppers, but that's about it. So we're gonna have a look and see what else we can find um, to enjoy a nice dinner over the fire tonight. Um, and then other than that, we might just sit down, relax, maybe read. Get in the hot tub. Another bit of, uh, of time in the hot tub. Oh yeah, a glass of wine would be nice. That's amazing. I obviously have no idea what these birds are, but birds of prey fascinate me. And um, there's three of them circling around. Um, yeah, amazing. I've got this tiny little rubbishy, <laughs> like, what would you call this? It's not, it's a like min uh, uh, monocular? Uh, monocular. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> um, but every now and then when it sort of, when the sun caught its feathers, absolutely gorgeous. Well, try and pop some in to see uh, if it comes out well on camera, who knows. Well, the sun is finally out. It has turned into a glorious afternoon. Changed into some shorts and t-shirt. Mac is practicing putting up the... What is it? Tarp. An, ad an adventure tarp? Adventure tarp. An adventure tarp. Uh, which we're taking to Scotland with us so that we can kind of rig it up when we need to um, in case of bad weather. I've got a book on my Kindle. I'm gonna lie here in the sunshine and read. What a glorious way to spend a Sunday afternoon. Now, we just realized that you can get into the cab of Betty, although I ain't gonna because I don't know if you can see all these cobwebs. There's plenty of cobwebs in here, but how cool is this? A 1960s lorry cab. Okay, Sarah's gonna brave the spider. I just told Mac I would get in it and now I'm seriously regretting it. But how cool is this? Get in it then. Okay. Um, if there are any spiders in here, I'm getting out, okay? Okay. You look oh, good yeah. driving a truck. <laughs> this is good, this is the business. Probably some, you know, critters live in there or something. I just really, so behind me here is like the storage area and then above is where we've been sleeping. So yeah. I just hope that all of this bit around here is really well sealed and all of these spiders can't get up into our bed area. Yeah, yeah. hopefully. Okay, getting out now, <laughs> very gracefully. Trucker. 
<laughs> Getting ready to set up our fire. Oh my gosh, it's you are kitted out to the extreme. We always come kitted out. <laughs> Here comes Dozer Bear. So you may have seen in some of our other videos um, that we have this little fire, uh, what is it, campfire kit? Mm -hmm. um, and um, we were inspired um, to get one of these when we stayed at One Cat Farm in Wales, which is also another of our vlogs, which we will link up here now. Um, but we bought this just on a, from a blacksmith online. Um, really decent, simple little kit. Um, keep it in the car and you are ready to set up a little nice little campfire cooking arrangement wherever you happen to be. And um, just need to remember how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> And like most normal people, we also travel with our own bag of logs. To be fair, we don't always travel with our own logs, but <laughs> <laughs> because this place had a fire pit, we thought we'd bring our own logs. Because um, uh, it's generally cheaper than, I mean, most places will sell you logs for like five or a bag, but we've got a whole stack of logs at home and um, it works out cheaper for us. So we thought we'd bring our own. Um, so I'm going to get busy, make a fire. The sun is going down, the light is absolutely beautiful now. I'm not mucking about today, I've got lots of fire lighters under there because why not? Get a bit of kindling going. There we are. Build some more kindling around that. I want this to go up nicely. This is a very professional looking fire. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Arrangement. Arrangement. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I, I think this method works quite well. Okay, this is the um, this is the platform that we cook on, or the little grill that we cook on. So I'm just going to hang that. All you do is just hang it on there, and you're good to go. Simple as that. Simple but good. Kind of doesn't really matter what you're eating, does it? As long as it's hot, campfire, sunset, perfect.
unfortunately, our beautiful stay in Betty the Bedford has come to an end. We've had a wonderful time. It's such a peaceful location, although there are other kind of glamping and camping pods Oh, they're here. miles away. They're miles away, and it is so relaxing and peaceful, so much wildlife. We'd ha we have had a lovely time. We have, and we're, you know what? We're definitely going to come back to this one because it's only an hour away from home, and it is perfect. We've really relaxed here. Um, but we hope you've enjoyed following along on this little video. If you have, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. And then once you've done that, hit that bell notification so you don't miss our next upload. Coming up next is going to be our Scotland trip. So definitely make sure you're subscribed for that. Excellent. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.